And now England's record-breaking scorer, Bobby Charlton, is to break the stalemate. A high pass from Sadler, and Bobby's head snicks it home. Charlton! It's there! Bobby Charlton! Football and beyond was rocked today by the news that the former England World Cup winner, Sir Bobby Charlton, has died. A player with an honours list as long as the best, past and present, has been just as relevant in black and white as he had been loved in colour. Old Trafford will forever carry the name of the man they call Mr Manchester United. Seen as one of the best players of all time, Charlton spent most of his club career at Manchester United. And they scored their second thanks to Bobby Charlton. After the crash next day, as the news of the disaster became known, Britain was appalled. He'd spoken of the guilt felt after, unlike eight of his teammates, he had survived the infamous Munich air tragedy. I, I don't understand why, why I, 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 was, I was okay, you know, and, uh, and they, were, they were killed. I, I never come to grips with it. I, I see quite a, a few of the relatives, you know, from time to time, and I, and I, I do feel a, a little bit guilty. Winning the World Cup in 1966 alongside his brother Jack was the epitome of his achievements. And Bobby Charlton's there with England's first. He scored two in the semi that got them to the final. But he also won a European Cup. And it's number two for Bobby Charlton. Manchester United are the champions of Europe. As well as being named the world's best player. He played his final Old Trafford game well, it, I, feel, I feel a bit sad, more so because we lost. Um, I have a lot of happy memories here, you know. I don't think really I, I can take it in that I'll not be playing here again. Before a brief and unsuccessful period in management, the Queen honoured him with a knighthood and he became a director at his beloved Manchester United. He continued to attend Manchester United games, but in 2020 was diagnosed with dementia. So Jeff Hurst now remains the only surviving member of the World Cup winning England team. It's devastating, isn't it? I mean, he's the man to find what this club is. You know, they never say die have an attitude from you know, the, the Busby Babes, you know, and that generation. Just a legend, wasn't it? Like, more for like my dad's age group as well. Just a legend. Up there, I mean, I think Rooney only recently broke his uh, goal scoring record, didn't he? He's won a World Cup, European Cup, big as you can get, really. Manchester United kick off their Premier League match against Sheffield United shortly, where they'll honour the great man. Then how else do you say farewell to the greatest?